significant in the first stage of an ambitious restoration project. A hundred years ago, opening a new railway line was a gala occasion. Crowds of onlookers, politicians making speeches, hissing steam, and of course the brass band. They were all there at Malden this weekend. The 300 members of the Castlemaine and Malden Railway Preservation Society have spent the last 10 years working towards the return of steam travel on the line. Historian Geoffrey Blaney summed up the importance of the revival in his opening speech. To take over an abandoned railway and slowly turn it into safe working order. They've come a long way, but they'll only make the final part of the journey the completion of the railway through to Castlemaine if they have the wholehearted support of the people of this district and the people of Castlemaine and a wide variety of tourists throughout Victoria. Then came the moment everyone had been waiting for. <laughs> With the ceremony over, it was all aboard for the first steam trip along the line in decades. But the departure was a little unorthodox. The locomotive and its accompanying carriages steamed out backwards from the Maldon platform. With just the first kilometre and a half reopened at this stage, there's no turntable. But backwards or not, the crowd didn't seem to mind. With driver Colin Hall and stoker Stephen Strangewood in control, the passengers on this historic journey could sit back and enjoy the scenery who said the age of steam has passed. <laughs> 